Hi everyone, uh, we are Team Data Anteaters and we are looking at tackling Challenge 3 through dataset extraction and integration. Now, we leave, live in an era of data, and so one of the main issues that happens in many agencies today is not whether you have enough data or not, but it's whether those data can be extracted and analyzed efficiently and be shared in that way. So um, Transperth, uh, Department of Transport and the PTA have many different sources that you've all been accessing over the course of this weekend. However, all these forms of data have been distributed among many um, traffic data systems and distributed among those many authorities. But what if there was a way we could take advantage of all these separate systems and all these different data assets um, to tell a story about the state of traffic and the state of movements in and around um, in the transport systems. We believe that that method is through single data integration, where if we combine it all into one single diagram and one single visualization, we'll be able to analyze it, um, extract data from it and represent it accurately. And we can take measures to help people interpret this data and spread it. Um, and because this data is all traffic related, we believe the way to do that is through geo visualization. So here we have a diagram of um, the Perth CBD. Uh, this is a very, this is a relatively simple one uh, displaying movement um, between bus stations along a Cannington route. Uh, the size of the arc represents the length of the distance. This is just using um, smart rider information. However, there we have access to Bluetooth data at various traffic intersection points and our movements within various districts. So we can produce a much more accurate, a much larger um, picture that gives us more information regarding movements there. So um, there are individual um, plateaus showing um, movements within each zone. The size of the plateau shows how much movement has occurred. These pillars, uh, columns, indicate uh, traffic movement at key intersection points registered through Bluetooth or wireless sensors. And the arcs again represent travel distance um, over the course of several months. So this is um, obtaining data sources. However, we could also um, try and optimize our collection through the various systems transfer already has. Smart Rider is being, a new form of Smart Rider is being introduced in 2021. And we would have thought, what if certain adjustments were made? We were looking at RFID or radio frequency identification already in place um, in Oyster cards. It is extremely <clears throat> cheap. And if we place our uh, sensor points at key intersection points all around Perth or various routes you'd look at adjusting, it, we would be able to get more accurate data from people subscribing to, um, sorry, uh, transport patrons there. there. Also, we have real-time AI movement tracking. As you saw earlier today, we can look at um, movements within the transport stream. Thank you very much, guys. Probably a good slide to leave it on for any uh, final questions. What was your underlying um, technology you used? And did you build this at the weekend? Um, we adjust we um, adjusted it for these videos over the weekend. We already had the neural system set up for this beforehand. Yep. It uses um, it utilizes neural networks um, to identify specific. Um, objects, mostly cars, and track them from camera to camera. And here we have in action through the camera here. It, it, um, it works in real time and is extremely fast to process. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, <laughs> so, sorry, for the further implement, it will have the motion to detect from the left to right to see if it's going into curve or right to left going out of the curve to analyze the traffic level. Yes. So, Um, any final questions from the judges? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for the demo.